guys, I'm gonna be like, alright, we're all right. Hello, I'm gonna be like, yeah, hello. Oh, what the, what? Hey! She, what, hey, whoa, she need to, what's going on with her? What does she take? What kind of drug is she on, bro? That's not no alcohol, is it? Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. <laughs> Passenger anger. After allegedly being aggressive, refusing to put on his seatbelt and not being able to give clear direction due to too much to drink, this passenger was ordered out of an Uber by driver Edward Caban. That's when things got ugly. The passenger is shown in this dash cam footage going after Caban with brute force. Luckily, the driver was able to use his pepper spray before he could do much worse. The passenger was allegedly fired from his executive position at Taco Bell because of the published footage. Number 14. Vegas Beware right. The title of this video claims this is an Uber and Lyft driver, William Demick, from Las Vegas, but a news source says he was a cab driver. Anyways, he was taken by surprise when his seemingly routine pickup turned cutthroat. His passenger took him in a hold and held him there for over four minutes. All the while, he had the man in the hold. He told him to give him all of the money in the car. Wow. Demick had just started his shift, so there was none. But he couldn't tell the man this as he couldn't breathe. The man was finally satisfied with the $38 he was given. Satisfied enough to take off anyway. After researching this list, one thing's for sure, it's a scary world for drivers. Number 13. Possessed Girl Casey Tech published this footage in June of 2017 writing, Uber driver has possessed girl in car. The video starts off with your everyday average Uber pickup. It's late at night and the Uber is... She got the heels on, you know what I mean? She, she, she said, yay, I'm gone, I'm leaving guys, I'm leaving waiting for his passengers outside a club or other venue. When one of the passengers approaches, while her friend is being helped to the vehicle by a policeman and another man. Man, if I saw her coming into my car as an Uber, bro, I'm like, hey man, I got the wrong address. I'm not the Uber for whoever's coming in. I quit. Or I'll just be like, I got the wrong address. I'm supposed to be somewhere else, you know. <laughs> Cause she's gonna throw up in your car. She's barfing everywhere. As the clear-headed friend texts, barely looking up from her phone, at first she is completely oblivious to her friend, whose head is rolling around and I body is writhing as though she's possessed. But after a while, it's hard to be oblivious to the garbled outbursts and the body flinging around the back seat. Oh, What? Hey! Whoa! She need to... What's going on with her? What does she take? What kind of drug is she on, bro? That's not no alcohol, is it? Is alcohol that violent? But let's see, man. I don't know. This this, this look kind of funny. <clears throat> I hope she don't, like, smack the guy. But let's watch. The poor Uber driver just stays silent. Glancing back concernedly every now and then. Hey, man, he's smirking. Is he? I'm not sure. The girl then flings herself forward, slamming her face into the passenger seat. Oh, Lord. While her friend tries to control her movement again and find her phone, which she dropped on the floor. Finally, the friend has had enough when she continues to fling herself around and tries again to open the door. It's clear this woman has had way too much to drink and that probably explains her scary behavior. Regardless, you can't help but feel bad for this Uber driver. Hopefully everyone was alright. Number 12. Heist in Atascacita In February of 2018, a 51-year-old female Uber driver was driving her vehicle around at 1am when a dark Toyota 4Runner blocked her at an intersection. In Atascacita, Texas, two men got out of the vehicle, one of them armed, and came up to the Uber driver's side window. 
The man that was armed told her he would take her life if she didn't give him all her money. Give me your money. I don't have any What have you got? I don't have anything, dude. Give me your phone. Uh, I'm no. killer, the Uber driver responded that she clearly didn't have any money since she drives for Uber. The man didn't let that stop them. One of them opened her car door and searched her back seat looking for anything of value to take. Whoa. After they took what they want and left, the driver phoned the police, holding tightly to her dog, but her scary ordeal was not over. During her call, the men drove by and fired at her. Forest and Eagle Springs, I just got... Ah! Ah! They should have me! I just got ruined. This entire event was caught on video, as the Uber driver had two cameras installed in her car. Thankfully, she made it out of this awful situation unharmed. That's crazy. Dang, Grandma, what you were doing outside, bro? At laid out in the, man, we know what you're doing, but come on, baby. And the men were caught on security camera trying to use the driver's credit card at a gas station. Both suspects were later taken into custody. Number eleven. Ah! This passenger starts out loud and ends up very. Hold on, let's go back. What was that? Station. Both suspects were later taken into custody. Number eleven. Ah! This passenger starts out loud and ends up very aggressive. After asking if his Uber driver can turn him back around, the passenger soon gets foul with his language and incoherent. Then he starts screaming loudly and repeatedly. The man is clearly on something as he sits up in the back seat and starts putting hands on the driver. He asks the driver again and again to turn around. At one point, the driver pulls to a stop and tells him he's got to get out of the car. But after they agree that the man will stop touching him instead, the Uber driver appears to be turning the vehicle around, saying he'll take the passenger back to the spot he was at. While the man continues to scream, the passenger apologizes repeatedly but then goes back to touching the driver and screaming. At last, the driver pulls over and opens the back door, telling the man that he's got to get out. After a long period of time, the passenger finally abides and the driver is back on his way again. Number 10. Road Rage Encounter Road rage on your own is scary enough. Mm. But when in an Uber, as a responsible driver, you also have your passengers to worry about. The dashcam video of this Uber trip shows two women in the back seat, directing their driver to their destination in the middle of the night. However, on route, things go haywire after a white car speeds up to pull around their vehicle, and then slows to a stop and that. Now that's clearly <clears throat> gonna be some trouble behind it, but I, what I would do, if they stop, I'm immediately driving so fast onto the right side and getting out of there, bro. Like, why would I stop? And be like, oh, well, they're stopping in front of me. Let me slow down. Nah, zzz, I'm skirting. I'm screeching my tires to the right. Parks in the middle of the road. The driver of the white car jumps out and races over, tapping on the driver's side window. What's that? You blew the f***ing right leg. Get the just go, just go, 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 just go, just go, 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 go around him, go. The sound is a bit mumbled, but what is audible is the guy ordering the driver to get out of the car. The driver refuses and the passengers in the back seat tell him to just go. First of all, who are you talking to? You don't even got no gun. Get out the car, where you got at? Come up. Oh, I got some in my beard. <clears throat> now, why are you talking tough and you're not even looking scary? Get out of here, bro. So, a female passenger in the white car also gets out but doesn't come forward. As they turn around, the passengers see the other driver is also backing up, so they decide to call the police. After explaining the situation, the offending vehicle is pursued by the police while the Uber waits it out. Another policeman pulls up while the other car is nabbed and again the passengers explain what happens. After watching the video, it's still unclear what the Uber driver did to cause the other driver to road rage. 
but it is clear that this thing could have escalated much further had the police not come to the rescue. Number 9. Open fire. Oh, shoot. The driver had his iPad set oh. up as a dash cam. As you can probably tell, it's important for drivers to record their services just in case events like this or others on this list occur. That's what happens scary. next is difficult to distinguish. You can hear a noise as the men get out of the car. One of them allegedly grabs some money off the driver's center console and tried to get away with it. But the driver wasn't having it. He got out of his vehicle to pursue the man. Luckily, he wasn't harmed and he was able to call the police and report the incident. Number 8. Making Chops What happens when you're delivering a group of passengers to their destination and one of them decides to set up a deal on route? That's oh, what a- Dude, this is the ultimate, like... I'll say this right here. <laughs> This sucks. Being an Uber driver for the deal, what in the heck are you going to do when you figure out in the middle of the thing that you're going to be in a deal? <clears throat> they probably got guns on them, so you ain't going nowhere. They're going to pop you, take your car, and do whatever they want if you refuse, probably, right? So what are you, are like, that's got to be a really scary, scary situation. Like, you got to be, you got to be sweating. I'm just saying, bro. What allegedly happened when an Uber driver picked up these four men. The man, man had asked the Uber driver if they could stop to pick up a set of keys during their trip. Nah. But when the driver did so, the passenger appeared to pass off an object to a passing pedestrian. When the passerby left, the Uber driver's suspicions led him to politely request that the man exit his vehicle. He's gonna ask what I call the police. I'm not calling them. That wasn't keys, buddy. The driver says in the video, one of the passengers refuses to get out. But after the driver insists and says he'll call the police, they all start to leave. The passenger who ordered the Uber, however, stays inside and tells the man to cancel the fare, even threatening him if he sees any charges on his account. Do what you gotta do on canceling the trip or whatever you gotta do, but I'm letting you know. If I see any charges on my shit, we're no, gonna no, have no, an issue. No. You can call whoever the fuck you wanna call. It's probably good for you to call because I'm gonna start really getting physical. The driver eventually cancels the trip after things escalate and exits the vehicle himself. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, it's not worth it, man. $15, $20, bro? Come on, bro. It's not worth that. We, we, we got more days ahead, bro. Ain't no... Nah. It's not worth that, bro. So, he he canceling it was the best option. You know, you might as well, bro. Well, the fourth man remains inside. That is, until one of his friends pops his head in and tells him to get out of the car. Luckily, the exchange ends there, at least on the video. Number 7. Throwing Stones Well, some of these dash cam videos show how frightening passengers can be inside the car. Others show what happens when angry passengers disembark. This trip was cut short in California after the Uber driver had had enough of his passengers' antics. According to the driver, there were four passengers in his car, all of whom apparently had been drinking. One of the women in the back yeah, seat was attempting it. to climb into the front seat, which is when he issued this warning to his Dang. passengers to sit down or he'd kick them out of his vehicle. Man. The driver told ABC 10 News that the passenger was grabbing the shifter and the emergency brake. What? Although he warned them, she didn't sit down. So the driver pulled into the parking lot of a restaurant and kicked them out as promised. One male passenger and two female passengers exit the vehicle. But you can hear some banging, which the driver claims was the fourth passenger kicking and kneeing the car. Gets out and leaves but not before throwing rocks at the vehicle. According to ABC 10 News, the passenger caused $2,000 worth of damages to the Uber. That's one expensive ride. Wow. Number six, Uber drivers versus cabbies. Though we wish we could see the dash cam footage from this incident, it's sadly unavailable on the internet. But this video is too bizarre not to analyze. It shows an angry anti-Uber protester in Toronto 
published by CBC News in December 2015. The video's description reads, Emotions erupt on busy downtown Toronto street during anti-Uber demonstration by taxi drivers. The protester in the video points out a car saying it's an Uber. He then goes around to the driver's side door and pounds on it. As the driver inside- What was he trying to do? Well, like, <laughs> were you trying to get the guy? What, like, what's that going to do to Uber as a whole? Man, people be doing some stupid crap. Like, getting the person and not the company is not the goal, man. You got to, if you're trying to, if you're against Uber, get the, get the company. Why are you getting somebody that's doing their job? That's crazy, man. Random. Shouts and attempts to Look drive that. away he, he while the man hangs on. He's Surprisingly, like, he continues crazy. to hang on as the car drives off, lifting his legs and being carried away by the Uber. The Uber wild. then pulls to a stop to let the protester abandon his post, but the man continues to pound on the driver's window so he drives off again, this time without his unwanted customer. The man says he was just trying to get his point across, although it doesn't appear that the protest succeeded or that Uber will be going away anytime soon. At least this man got a free ride out of the deal. Number 5. Florida Law Florida's Stand Your Ground Law enables a person to defend him or herself against perceived threats or actual threats. This case of an Uber driver in Florida taking the life of a man was dubbed a classic oh, Stand Your Lord. Ground case by authorities. The driver in question, Robert Westlake, had been allegedly harassed by another driver, Jason Boak, who began following him. Westlake had earlier picked up a woman who Boak believed to be his sometimes girlfriend, causing Boak to text her, saying he was going to go after her Uber driver. The dashcam video shows just what happened. The Ford pickup driven by Boak pulls in front of Westlake and slows down, causing a standstill. Boak then exits the vehicle and proceeds to say he's armed. He appears to be holding something in his hand. As he approaches, Westlake opens fire, with one shot going into Boak's chest. The item in Boak's hand ended up being a cell phone. The Uber driver, who is a licensed armed security guard and wow. possessed a concealed carry permit, phoned the police and started CPR on Boak. Authorities at the Polk County Sheriff's Office believe Westlake was justified in his action. Number 4. Getaway Driver Although as an Uber driver, you probably expect to pick up some crazy characters once in a while, you might not anticipate being party to a bank heist. That's what happened to an Uber driver in Miami when he picked up suspect. Enrique Antonio Gamez, who the FBI later charged Enrique! after the Uber driver livestreamed the incident on Facebook. The man walked into the bank wearing a suit and carrying a jacket under which he claimed was an explosive device. With this, he calmly ordered the teller to give him cash or else. The man's Uber driver, Mike, an ex-Marine, took to Facebook to livestream three videos of the scene. The man ranted and raved about why he should have the money, claiming he wanted to give it to the poor, like some modern day Robin Hood. Man, get out of here! You wanna give it to the poor? Please! Get out of here, bro. That's, that's BS. Who's gonna rob the bank to give it to the poor? Tell, like, of course you're gonna be arguing with this guy. Like, first of all, if anybody say they have a bomb in their hand, I'm not arguing. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm not doing. Come on, brother. Like, are you really gonna get this to the poor? I don't think so. He gonna get him some wings and things. He gonna get him a house and a spouse. And he gonna do his thing. He ain't giving it to no poor. Come on, bro. Stop playing, bro. It's totally, it's, it's a joke. He also requested to speak before Congress. He was given $11,000 by the bank manager in a pink envelope. <laughs> Only $11,000? <clears throat> she gave it to him? Well, well, she probably just, like, yeah. He, I guess she played him for trying to play her. Hey, whatever, bro. He laughed. The streaming continued in the car. When the Uber driver was asked by the man to take him to Ocean Drive, when he arrived at his destination, he started throwing the money up into the air as strangers descended upon it, all very happy to be gifted with free cash. 
He actually gonna give it to the poor? This guy might not be all the way here, bro. I don't know, bro. He actually did what he said. I was not expecting that. I was not. Well, he only got $11,000. So maybe to him, that's not money. But for real? Hold on, man. If $11,000 is not money to you, let's say, in this case, he must have some money. You know? And if he have money, why didn't he just go into his own account and take it out and then do the thing? He gonna rob a bank. And now he gonna be locked in. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I, I, I wonder if he got arrested or not. Let's see. Unfortunately, the modern day Robin Hood didn't seem to be as suave and cognizant as he thought. In June of 2017, court records indicated he would claim the insanity defense at his trial. Number three, self-driving yeah, Uber. This dash cam footage from March of 2018 shows a self-driving Uber hit and take the life of a pedestrian who is walking her bicycle across the street. During the incident, the human backup driver appeared distracted. The police report claimed that the driver had been streaming the voice at the time of collision. The footage wow. shows both the forward view of oncoming traffic and the incident, as well as the rear view of the backup driver's reaction. The driver was on auto drive when the incident occurred. The driver said that the pedestrian came out of nowhere and she had slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. Num See, that could be a thing. <clears throat> two, driverless Uber. Yet another potentially life-taking mistake from a driverless vehicle. Uber was set to launch self-driving vehicles in San Francisco, but not before this video of a self-driving one went viral. The Uber, with its sensors and top-of-the-line technology, drove through an intersection around three seconds after the light turned red. A pedestrian was just about to cross the crosswalk at the time. According to an Uber spokesperson, the traffic violation was human error, not the fault of technology. The spokesperson said that the human backup driver who was operating the vehicle at the time had since been suspended. What do you think? Should driverless vehicles be allowed on the open road quite yet? You never know who you're going to get as a passenger. Exactly. Though Ralph Valletta is a cab driver, this entry needs to be talked about because his masked passenger was armed in the back seat, pointed it at the driver and demanded all of his money or he'd take his life. All of the cabbie's money was $11. Dang this it, vicious act all for $11. Dang it, bro. The masked man must have had the worst luck of anyone apart from maybe his driver who had had this. Why are people robbing a cab driver, bro? Are they crazy? They don't make a lot of money. I don't know who's crazier. The guy that robbed the bank to throw the money away or the guy that's robbing the cab driver. Like, you got to really think about... At least, okay, you know what? At least the guy that robbed the bank was getting more money. <clears throat> but still, he was robbing the bank to throw the money. It's just stupid. <laughs> I don't understand this, bro. People are wild out here. Make no sense. This happened to him twice before on the job. At the same time that Valletta was being shaken down, the red light they were stopped at switched to green, and noticing that the cab didn't move, Berks County Sheriff's Deputy Terry Eli, who had just so happened to be behind the cab, started flashing his lights. He approached the vehicle and seeing what was going down, ordered the robber out of the cab and on the ground. Get out. <laughs> That's him crying? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Let's go back, bro. Nah, bro. Get on the ground now. I'm gonna find the whole thing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Man! What a, what a disappointment as a robber. He over there crying? Yeah, that was gross. Something just flew out my mouth. This guy said, oh my gosh, please. He was over there, girl, cat moaning. What? What did I just say? 
he was over there just like, how dare you switch characters, bro? Nah, if you want to be a robber, be a robber. Talk tough. The whole time he over there crying like a kitty cat. That's a, that's pathetic. <clears throat> then he called for backup. Valetta called the deputy a lifesaver. No truer words have ever been spoken. A lot of these things don't make sense to me. <clears throat> I don't know why. I don't know why people would do some of the things that, that we heard them do just now. But it just make no sense. <clears throat> now we could talk about all day, like why it's so why it's dangerous to do a Uber or a cab and but definitely out of this video, the two people that were trying to either rob the bank or steal money from the cab, I don't understand that. That to me, like at least with the rob the bank one. You could rob the bank to get the money for yourself. That one is a better one than robbing a cab driver, right? Because at least you know with the bank you're going to get more money. With the cab driver, I don't know how much you're expecting. That's a Subway sandwich worth of money. That's a 7-Eleven kit. That's probably even a doggone kid's meal at McDonald's worth of uh, dollars. You ain't getting that much money from them. So I don't know what the person's thinking who wants to rob a cab driver. No, make no sense. 